All right, so we have some more examples just to work on solving our inequalities here. Uh, example four from your note packet. See the parentheses start with that distributing. Oh, that's a skinny pen. Uh, so we have 4x is greater than 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a negative 2 is negative 2 minus 1. Go ahead and combine those like terms. 4x is greater than 2x minus 3. Now we have to get those x's on the same side, but we're going to keep the 4x where it is because there's nothing else with it. You don't want to empty out that side. So we subtract 2x from both sides. 2x is greater than negative 3. And then we divide both sides by 2. And some people, when they get this far, get a little weirded out because 3 doesn't divide by 2, but you know what? It's okay to have fractions in math. So x is greater than, and I didn't flip the inequality because we divided by a positive 2. Um, x is greater than negative 3 and 3 halves. All right, so when we put this on our number line, it might be helpful to know what negative 3 halves is. If you think about it like a mixed fraction, you could turn that into negative 1. 2 fits into 3 one time, and there's 1 left over, so negative 1 and a half. Or if you did the decimal, just to get an idea of where it is, it is a clean negative 1.5. So if you have to graph a fraction on your number line, go ahead and just show me the two numbers that it's between. This is between a negative 1 and a negative 2. And negative one and a half is right halfway in between them. So that's your negative three halves. That is gonna be an open circle. I feel like we've had a lot of open circles. And it's greater than, so we're shading to the right because all the numbers to the right are greater than that negative three halves. All right, next example. Again, parentheses, so that's our starting point. Um, one thing you wanna notice though, the three just gets brought down but this 2 is negative, so we are distributing a negative 2. So this will be a negative 2q. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, is less than 5. Combine your like terms, 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 2q is less than 5. Get the q alone, we're going to subtract 5, because that's a positive 5, that cancels. Now here's where I see common mistakes happen. This 2q, because of the subtraction in front of it, is negative. So you need to make sure that you bring down a negative with that. So negative 2q is less than 5 minus 5 is 0. Keep going, even though a 0 showed up. Divide both sides by negative 2. There we go, dividing by negative number. That's going to flip your inequality. And then 0 divided by anything is 0. So q is greater than 0 is our solution. So we know where 0 is. You want the numbers on both sides, negative 1 and positive 1. This is going to be an open circle. And it's a greater than, so we shade all the numbers that are greater than 0. So that's going to be everything to the right. All right, last one. This one just looks like there's a lot of kind of prep work to do before we solve. All right, so on this one, I see distributing on both sides. So carry down your 7y. This is a negative 2 that we're distributing. So negative 2y, negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8. You have to really pay attention to those signs. That's where we tend to make little mistakes, and it throws off our final answer. Carry down the 6, because the thing that gets distributed is this negative. Now, you can put a 1 right there. I'm sure we talked about that in a previous video, and distribute a negative 1. So negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and negative 1 times negative y is a positive y. All right, so we've got like terms to put together on each side. On the left, we can combine our y's. 7y minus 2y is 5y. Carry down your plus 8 is greater than. Here, 6 minus 2 is 4 plus y. All right, so you want to get your y's on the same side. I'm going to go ahead and subtract y from both sides. 4y plus 8, whoa, that was a weird 8, plus 8 is greater than 4. And then we just keep solving. Subtract 8, 4y is greater than negative 4, 4 minus 8. 
divide by 4. Again, we're dividing by a positive. That's okay. Nothing changes. So y is greater than negative 1. On our number line, put negative 1 in the middle, but show me the numbers on both sides, 0 and negative 2. This is going to be an open circle, shading to the right, because to the right are all the numbers that are greater than negative 1. Okay, I caught a mistake in the first one. Did you guys catch it when I was doing it? When you distribute this 2, this is... I'm glad it showed up because this is a common thing I see. So um, 2 times negative 2 is actually negative 4. So go back and fix this if you um, didn't catch it when I did this. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. This is a negative 5. And negative, so our answer is negative 5 halves, which is negative 2 and a half or negative 2.5. I'm surprised I actually caught it. Usually I don't catch my mistakes. Um, so on our number line, that's just going to change. This is going to be it's between negative 2 and negative 3. And there's your negative 5 halves. So sorry for the sloppiness.